And that I would say is probably your number one cause of foam in your machine is, 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 the, is, cavitation. is the cavitation. <laughs> Hi everyone, Justin Geach here with Master Fluid Solutions. Uh, today I'm in Pensacola, Florida, visiting Adam Booth, also known as A-Bomb 79 at his beautiful new machine shop. So we talked about uh, proper concentration levels, yep. checking for pH, yep. mixing the coolant, and uh, you know, our sump shark there. Yep. But So what are some of the other things that we can consider on our onboard, ongoing coolant management? Yeah, great question. And, you know, most machines, and, and your, your Flex here, for example, has a, has a filtration system. So one of the things that's going to happen is as you as you machine, that filter is going to get plugged with chips and fines. Right. And it's going to have some really, really fine yeah, chips stuck yeah. in there. Yeah. And what happens is a lot of times those might get neglected and there might be a screen on the tank. Um, you know, for example, in your, your where the chips empty out, sometimes those holes will get plugged. Yeah. And then what happens is your pump will start to cavitate because it can't get enough coolant through it because oh, it can't right. pull through the filter. Yeah. And that, I would say, is probably your number one cause of foam in your machine. Is, 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 the, is, cavitation? is the cavitation. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, either the sump volume too low, filters plug, screens plug, the, basically you're starving the coolant pump. Yeah. Any way you can, but, and typically there's even screens on the pump itself that chips will get sucked to, and then that'll keep coolant from going into it. Right. So, it's all to protect the in inside of the pump and keeping chips from getting your cutting tools. But that's just an ongoing coolant management, machine management uh, area you should look at. Just a, a regular PM schedule to just pull screens out. Every machine is different. Yeah. Um, some might plug in a day, some might plug in a few months. Right. Um, but that's, that's one thing you can do. And, and there's also some additional equipment if you do have a big problem and a lot of cast iron fines, for example. Yeah. Um, you could look at adding magnetics or bag filters or you know some different filtration um, just to keep that keep that from happening as often. Cast iron definitely poses its own problems <laughs> yeah. and that's why some people don't want to machine them. <laughs> yeah. Okay so I got another question for you. Yeah. Is it important to keep the the uh, chip pan cleaned out and uh, you know clean the chips out yeah. and make sure it's clean as well? Yeah, so especially if you might have some real fine chips that kind of build up in corners, you know, coolant splashes on there, it might sit for a while, not drain all the way through, it can create some contamination. Right. And in this in this case, you have a, a chip bin, there are the chips from the conveyor empty out on, and there's real tiny holes in there. Yep. So keeping that clean will allow the coolant to flow through and get to your pump. Yeah, yep. that's a good point yep. to make there. So we'll get in there and make sure that we keep that yeah. cleaned out on a regular basis. And um, you know, we can just use a simple shop back to help get some of these yeah. chips out. Yeah, absolutely, yeah.